I'm Max Reiner, I'm head of the project Birdly and I'm from the Zurich University of the Arts. So let's talk a little bit about where the idea came from for Birdly. Yeah. Uh, since several years I'm actually fascinated uh, about flying, so I did several projects in that direction with drones, with other kind of stuff, so the dream of flight always captured me. And uh, in 2012 I got actually approached by a wildlife organization which uh, did an exhibition uh, to show the fascination of, uh, of the flight, how birds are flying. And this was a good uh, st a stepping stone to actually propose this kind of a concept that if you do uh, an exhibition about the fascination of a bird flight, how would it work out that you get into the body of a bird? So this was actually the, the foundation, so the starting point of birdling. Can you talk a little about what you built, because this is from scratch. Okay, so uh, Birdly by itself, uh, when we came up with the idea, uh, we wanted to have um, a real full body uh, experience. And so Birdly is a full body flight, a bird flight simulator. And what we built there is actually a platform which can move. So when you fly, then you do turns, you dive, you go up to the sky. And this kind of movements we wanted to simulate, that you really feel it actually with your own body. And so Birdly has uh, a mechanism which moves you around actually, you, you can go up, down, you can go into the curve, you can sink and dive and all that kind of stuff. But uh, more important is as well that you have uh, the wings of a bird. How, one you, uh, how do you want to fly if you don't have wings? So we build it uh, a very, as, as a special controller like a joystick, but in the sense that you can uh, have wings and control this flying experience with your own arms. And additionally to this, we try to address all senses which you have, tactile senses or motion senses and all this kind of stuff. So we build in as well a fan, because the fan is very crucial to feel the speed which you're flying. So when you're flying, then the fan gets faster, when you're uh, stronger, when you fly faster, or lower, when you fly slow. And uh, additionally to this, we have of course the headset, 3D sound, but we also have a vibration uh, uh, actuator which shakes you through. And for the future, we even have smells. We experiment with them, but honestly, we are not as far as we thought. We have it working in the lab, but not for the venues. What kind of smells would you would you smell in the air? Yeah, uh, we collected several. So, so our setting is in the city. So we thought, and the city of San Francisco, and so we have uh, the sea, the salty water smell. We also have some clouds and a little nature, like grass or uh, forest. But we have as well other scents, like trash or street and gasoline, uh, when you get down to the streets and all this kind of stuff. What do you feel the video game applications would be for this type of technology? There are several. Uh, you can have a multi-user setup where you fly with your friends and explore areas. Or maybe if you are more competitive, you can do a race or you can do capture the flag or even dogfights maybe. Or all these kinds of stuff. And uh, especially in the multi-user uh, setting, it could be quite challenging and fun if you hunt each other down and so, or find you and so. Or, we also thought about uh, other kind of uh, fun games, or fun games, more um, flow games that you are maybe flying in sound and into the sound and generating sound by yourself and more this Im imaginary stuff. Where do you see the end game for people being able to actually play and experience this in the future? Yeah. So the device is a little bit bulky, so it's not just a joystick which you can put in your backpack. So it's in that sense, it's maybe more for centers because like I mentioned before, when you do multi-user, you don't have several at home. Of course, you can connect through the internet, but it's also fun to have them in one space and in maybe we can put it up in arcade halls if they come back with virtual reality, but also in tourist centers or in science museums or in uh, family entertainment centers and all these kind of venues could be possible, I guess.